Good afternoon to uh, today's event. Um, before we begin, uh, we need to read the reading uh, disclaimer. Uh, so bear with me for a moment. Uh, please note that this session is being recorded. It may include your likeness and or your voice. You have the option of muting your camera and or your microphone, but participation implies authorization for MassBay to use such likeness and voice of this recording.
Good evening. If you can hear me clearly, give me a thumbs up. And so good evening. I am Lynn Davis, Dean for the Division of Health Sciences. The program overview for the evening will be as follows. After I give my official welcome, we will have greetings from the college from our Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost, Dr. Lynn Hunter. It will be followed by a congratulations to our graduates by Thomas Durkin, paramedicine graduate, followed by the awards of recognition. We will then have the conferring of the pins and then I'll come back for closing remarks. And so now let me officially say good evening and welcome to the 2021 virtual pinning and honors ceremony for the Massachusetts Bay Community College Allied Health graduating class. I'm honored to be the Dean for the Division of Health Sciences and Dean of the fine graduates that are here this evening. The allied health programs that are represented here this evening are the associate degree in radiologic technology, the certificate in surgical technology, and the certificate in paramedicine. Before I introduce our provost for the evening, I want to recognize a few individuals who are also here this evening, in addition to our graduates. First, I'd like to thank our administrative assistant, Carrie Beatty. And Carrie, just wave your hand. And I'd like to thank Carrie for working behind the scenes to make this such a memorable event for this pinning ceremony. And I'd also like to thank Dr. Dolores Goyette, Dolores, if you'll raise your hand as well, for working so well alongside Carrie to make this evening possible. Evenings like this um, are no short of planning for something like a wedding. It requires a lot of behind the scenes in order to make something like this work well. And they have been working tirelessly over the past several weeks along with our other faculty members to prepare for tonight. And so if you see something that's beautiful this evening, I dare say that Carrie and Dolores working along with the other faculty had something to do with it. And I'd like to thank you both for that this evening. I also want to recognize some other individuals who are in our virtual audience this evening. I'd like to recognize our esteemed full-time faculty. The students would not be here if it had not been for these faculty. And so this evening, as I call your name, full-time faculty, just wave. Uh, you can do it uh, with an electronic wave if you want to. In our emergency medical services program, Professor Jennifer Carey, the program director, and Professor George Kinahan, our clinical coordinator. In radiologic technology, Professor Karen Hansen, our program director, Professor Karen Steinhoff, our clinical coordinator, and Professor William Cody, who teaches all of the programs, imaging labs and radiation protection labs. And in surgical technology, Professor Richard Clark, who is our program director, and Dr. Dolores Goyette, our clinical coordinator. Also in the audience, those are our full-time faculty, but we can't do it with simply full-time faculty. And I also see in our audience this evening, our clinical faculty, some of our clinical faculty, I see program advisory committee members, I see field preceptors, some adjunct and part-time faculty, lab instructors, learning specialists, all of these individuals are also in our audience this evening. And so I'd like to say thank you to those EMS and radiography and surgical technology clinical and lab instructors and learning specialists 
for your presence in this this here this evening. So will all of you please just give us a virtual or a real wave in recognition of your presence this evening. And thank you for that. Also, according to our accrediting regulations, some of our programs must have um, physicians who serve as our medical directors. And so in this audience this evening, I see Dr. Mike Corbett. He is our orthopedic, our retired orthopedic surgeon by specialty and medical director for surgical technology. Thank you, Dr. Corbett, for being here this evening. Give us a wave. And then I believe I saw in our audience this evening, Dr. Zachary Kramer. He is our medical director for the EMS program, and he is an emergency department physician. And we so thank Dr. Kramer for his presence and his role in our program. Let's give him a hand clap as well. Thank you, thank you. And then there are advisory board members who are here this evening also. Friends and loved ones, thank you for being here tonight because what we also recognize is this wouldn't be possible if you hadn't been here. And so thank you for your support of our students, but your loved ones. Thank and graduates, will you give them a virtual hand clap this evening? And thank you, thank you. And now coming off of mute, I would like to introduce and invite to you this evening, greetings from the college. And those will be by our Vice President for Academic Affairs. She is our Provost, Dr. Lynn Hunter. I welcome you, Dr. Hunter. Can you hear me? That's <laughs> wonderful. What a great, great group of people assembled here this evening. You look fantastic. I'm flipping through all of the screens because we can't all fit on one screen. So it's not quite the same as kind of scanning the auditorium, but hey, this is uh, this is the next best thing. So greetings, students, family members, guests, faculty, esteemed others. Um, on behalf of the president and the entire college administration, I wanna say welcome, congratulations to everyone who made this evening possible through a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of love and caring also. So, you know, the photos that we were seeing earlier as people were assembling were so incredible. And they say, you know, if a, if a photo tells a thousand words or a picture tells a thousand words, then the photos we saw tonight really must uh, tell millions of millions of words. So, and I think the biggest word may be amazing. Absolutely amazing um, what you have done. Did you ever think students that you would make it to this day? I bet there were days when you thought, oh, is it gonna ever come? Is it ever gonna come? You've been through so much. You know, the college is celebrating its 60th anniversary this year. And so every month, we're celebrating a different decade of the 60 years. And, you know, I think when we get in the future to be celebrating the 2020s, you're going to be front and center in everybody's memory as the, the class of 2021 who achieved the impossible. So hats off to you. We are so proud of you and what you've accomplished and um, wishing you all the best. Don't be strangers. Please do let us know how you're doing. We love to hear from uh, alums and you know people who have gone on to do great things. So congratulations to you. And with that, I will turn it to, I believe. Our, Back to me. Yeah. <laughs> our <DC. laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hunter. Thank you. And now, as I prepare to welcome um, Mr. Thomas Durkin, I'd like you, I'd like to share a little bit of information about him as he comes to congratulate the graduates. And Thomas, you can be preparing to unmute, but I'd like to share with our audience a little bit about you. Thomas Durkin came to the paramedicine program for a career change. He was working in rehabilitative medicine, but he was looking to serve the community in an even greater capacity as a paramedic and potentially as a firefighter. 
Tom arrived in the Mass Bay Paramedic Program and quickly became a leader among his peers, encouraging his classmates and providing an example of hard work and a positive attitude. Attending school while continuing to work full time and providing for and raising his two boys during a pandemic, no less. Tom's commitment to his education in order to make a better life for his family illustrates that which is at the heart and soul of Mass Bay or of a Mass Bay student. He has finished among the top of his class and accomplished his goals, and we are honored to have him speak to his fellow graduates this evening. He is here to do the congratulations to our graduates. We welcome before you now, Mr. Thomas Durkin. And let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Dean Davis. That was a, that was a really nice introduction. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, so good evening and thank you for this opportunity. Um, I'm honored to speak as a soon to be graduate um, from the paramedicine program here at Mass Bay. And uh, reflecting back on the last year and a half and what a truly unique, challenging and rewarding experience it has been is mind blowing. Um, but I remember from day one at orientation before the pandemic altered the course of human history, a very wise instructor who shall remain nameless said, this is gonna be hard, it will challenge you, but we're here for you. We work as a team, we work hard, and you will graduate. So here we are, <laughs> Check, checks in the mail, George. Um, <clears throat> no one could have predicted how badly the pandemic would impact every level of our society. And no one bared the brunt in the same way that healthcare professionals and educators did. But luckily for us, we had an advantage because it's what we do in the back of an ambulance at 3 a.m. Whether you're a nurse, doctor, EMT, teacher, or any other healthcare or educational professional, we were all in the back of the ambulance at 3 a.m. And sometimes we were even the patient. But our nature as healthcare providers and our ability to adapt and overcome in even the most strenuous, unpredictable situations had us better prepared than most. It's what we do. My experience at Mass Bay in the paramedicine program is that it took our natural ability and inclinations as healthcare professionals, pushed us harder and made us sharper. I'm so thankful for the knowledge and unique skill set I'm leaving here with to make a difference for others. And I know everyone who's graduating from their respective programs can relate. We're more ready and better prepared to, to make a difference on the next call, whatever it might be than ever. And it's with that that I want to thank our instructors for their extraordinary efforts in teaching through such an incredibly difficult circumstance. And I want to thank and congratulate my classmates in PM40 on this incredible accomplishment. Um, I was affectionately referred to as dad because uh, I'm the oldest in the class. So um, I appreciate that, but really it's uh, we, we've always been peers. I learned a lot from my classmates and they've helped me through um, just as much as um, you know, we all helped each other as a family, dysfunctional as it may be sometimes, we were, we were definitely a family. Um, so I wanna thank them for that. And congratulations to everyone here tonight. I look forward to seeing you out in the field doing what we do. Thank you so much, Thomas. Can we give him a virtual or a real clap? You don't look a day over 30. <laughs> and now we come to the part of our ceremony and that is that our and, and that is our awards of recognition. So let me give you a prompt just about now. There are two times when we will open up the chat room. One time is going to be now so that as awards are, are given, if you'd like to say something to the awardee in the chat room, you will have that opportunity. And then we will do that again during the conferring of the pins. And so this is going to be one of those opportunities. We believe that all of our students are stars. Some of our stars shine a little bit more brightly than others, like perhaps the North Star. We would now like to recognize some of those stars who have distinguished themselves. We do this by recognizing academic excellence, clinical excellence, and or the Student Perseverance Award, and you see those that are stated here. In the 
in this order, the following program directors are now going to come to recognize their program awardees in either the area of academic excellence or student perseverance or clinical excellence. And they are going to come in the following order. Professor Jennifer Carey will be coming to recognize paramedicine, followed by Professor Karen Hansen to recognize radiologic technology, radiography, followed by Professor Clark to recognize the students who are being awarded in surgical technology. And so now I welcome up Professor Jennifer Carey for paramedicine. Thank you, Dean Davis. Uh, thank you all for being here this evening. Uh, this is a very exciting event and I'm very excited for all of our students. Um, the paramedicine program is a condensed, quite rigorous program. Uh, the award for academic excellence in paramedicine is awarded to the student who consistently demonstrated outstanding academic ability in the program. The award for academic excellence in paramedicine for class 39 goes to Kathleen Neal. Round of applause for Kathleen. <laughs> and the award for academic excellence in class 40 goes to James Cassidy. Congratulations. The paramedicine program would also like to recognize the efforts of one student that has demonstrated unfailing commitment to her goal of becoming a paramedic. This student, in addition to suffering the effects of the pandemic through multiple COVID related delays in completing the program, also had to overcome numerous personal health related issues. The student, despite having some of her worst days, arrived in class with a smile on her face, ready to work and to encourage her classmates. She has been an exemplary mentor for the classes that have followed. After completing the program among the top of her class, she is now ready to sit for her national exam. The paramedicine program would like to recognize Elizabeth Goldsmith with the Student Perseverance Award. I think you all heard the end of that. My computer just went black. We heard you. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> and now I would like to give you Karen Hansen from the Rad Tech program. Thank you, Jennifer. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for being here with us to celebrate our students. The Clinical Excellence Award in the Radiography program is given to a student who exemplifies ideal performance in the clinical environment. This award recognizes the student who has shown the highest degree of clinical distinction throughout the course of the program. Student receiving the Clinical Excellence Award personifies the type of student that the Mass Bay Radiologic Technology Program would want every student to strive for. The student has shown clinical excellence in the areas of patient care, safety, and imaging quality, as well as excellence in overall performance academically. This year, the Clinical Excellence Award goes to our graduate, Hajara Shakir. Uh oh, where's Hajara? <laughs> I see her. Glitch. Oh, I still I have Jennifer. Sorry. <laughs> Bear with me for one second. Okay, it's not me. Sorry, Henry. I was I thought I was odd man out. Everyone else is seeing her just so you'll know. Oh. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Sajara. The Academic Achievement Award for the radiography program is presented annually to the radiologic technology student who has the highest cumulative average 
uh, in the radiologic sciences after completion of the spring semester. The purpose of this award is to recognize a graduating student for achieving academic excellence. This year, the award celebrates the hardworking and motivated student who is also the recipient of many scholarships. Unfortunately, I don't believe that she is here. And this award goes to Kelsey Clark. Congratulations, Kelsey. And off to you, Rich. Good evening, congratulations to everyone. The academic excellence in surgical technology is presented to the student who has consistently shown outstanding ability in the academics in surgical technology. The award winner this year is Allie McGuire. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Are we back again? Okay, we have one more award. The clinical excellence in surgical technology is presented to the student who has consistently shown expertise in the, the surgery throughout the program. The clinical award winner is Issa Schoenhammer. Thank you very much, Rich. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And I think it goes. And now back to. That's the dean. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Professor Clark. Let us give a round of applause to all of these very deserving awardees. And now we come to the part of this ceremony which is the main reason why we're here and this is the conferring of the pins before i start let me also say that this is the other part of our ceremony where we keep the chat room open and if you would like to say something special to the to the recipient of the pin this evening feel free to say that in the chat room at this time. And also another bit of instruction, and that is graduate, as your name is getting ready to be called, please make sure you unmute before your significant other pins you. And so this evening, our pinning ceremony is going to take on just a bit of a difference. If we were face to face, our professors would be pinning our graduate on a stage. But because COVID has required that we make some changes, this evening, each graduate has identified a special person, a significant other in their life, and that person is going to be placing the pin on the graduate this evening. So when your name is called or getting ready to be called, then make sure you unmute so that we will be able to see that pinning process happen. A little bit about the pinning. The pin symbolizes the graduate's achievement of completing the educational requirements and it marks their transition into the profession. Being pinned symbolizes that you have persevered to the end, that you have demonstrated the amount of dedication necessary in order to make it to this moment in your career. And this pin symbolizes your welcome into your profession. And so again, right before your name is getting ready to be called, we ask that you unmute and uh, so that we will be able to see the pinning process occur as your name is called. And we are going to start with our paramedicine program. And so we call up for the calling of the names, the class 39, and then that will be followed by class 40 and Professor Jennifer Carey to call the names of our graduates this evening.
I should perhaps ask if Jennifer Carey is still here. Jennifer, if you can hear me, say something. Fortunately, she's not. I see you. All right. Um, okay. So that means that while I see you, I cannot hear you. That means I have the distinct honor of calling out the graduating class for, for class 39. Is that okay with you, Jennifer? Okay, excellent. Class 39, are you ready? Ah, our graduates are telling me, Henry, that the mute is blocked or locked. Uh, I've sent Jennifer a couple of unmute requests. She should be able to unmute. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Paramedicine graduate, the class of 39, Taylor Blood. Let's give her a round of virtual or real applause. Emily Delphos. Caitlin Gallis. Elizabeth Goldsmith. Cameron Kelly. Derek Logan. Kathleen Neal. And Eric Raposa. A round of applause for the graduating for class 39. And the paramedic class of 40, James Cassidy. Samuel DeJong Ewing. Thomas Durkin. Zachary Krezek. And Cassandra Perez. And overall round of applause for the paramedic graduates, class 39 and class 40. And now I turn it over to Professor Karen Hansen. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Okay, Rad Tech, let's go. For the day class, our first pinning goes to Michelle Blattman. Congratulations, Michelle. Joseph Conathan. Russell Daly. Austin Niles. And it's over. Austin also received a Clinical Excellence Award from Brigham and Women's Hospital. Let it be noted. Congratulations. Jarupa Pathame. Nicholas Shaheen. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hajara Shakir, our clinical excellence winner.
Feel free to unmute so we can hear the applause. I would have been just as awkward on stage. It's okay. Who's pinning you, Hajara? <laughs> <laughs> and Tracy Taverna. Congratulations to the day class and for our evening flex cohort, Kelsey Clark. I don't believe that she's here. Michael Dwyer. Danielle Kumpelanian. Jonathan Lowenberg. Nicole Martino. Angelica Noret. Christina Pentiak. And Samantha Wallach. I believe that some of the students are saying that they're they're muted. They can't unmute. Congratulations. A round of applause for our radiologic technology students. And now, Professor Clark, I turn it over to you for surgical technology. Congratulations to the class of 2021, the Corona class. Our first grad, first pinner, pinning our first graduate is Michaela Bajisko. Uh, Michaela Bajisko, CST. Yeah, I'm so right. proud. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Our next graduate is Michael Kate. Love you, Mike. <laughs> Woo! 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 Mike. Woo! Christopher Kate, you have worked so long and so hard for this achievement, and from so many of us, we are beyond proud. Congratulations. Love you. Go, go, Mike. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Our next graduate is Melanie Collins. <laughs> Woo, Mel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our next graduate is Jose Jimenez. Hosby. Jose. Hosby. <laughs> <laughs> and our next graduate is Ali McGuire. The academic Yay. award winner. Oh, Allie. <laughs> Good job, Allie. Good job, Allie. All right, Allie. Our next graduate is Elizabeth Duarte. There, Liz. Yeah, Liz. That's Liz. Congrats, Liz. Thanks. Our next graduate is Ruth Perlov. Yeah, Ruth. Where are you, Ruth? Woo, Way to go, Ruth. 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 Yeah, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Ruth. Oh, yeah. Ruth. <laughs> Yeah, and our good job, Ruth. Good job, Ruth. Our next graduate is Isa Schoenhammer, also of our clinical excellence. Excellent, Isa. And finally, last but not least, our next graduate is Claudia Villacorta. There she is. With her whole whole family right there. Woo! Go, Claudia! 
<laughs> Congratulations, Claudia. Congratulations, class of 2021. You're the best. Yay, good job, the everybody. Best. Woo, mazel tov. Go team. Congratulations, class of 2021. You look, you've done great. Congratulations, everybody. And so let's do this. For those of you who do have the ability to unmute, let's do a rousing real clap and congratulations. Let's do it first for the radiography graduates. Go ahead and unmute. Yep. Let's hear you. Yay! Yay! Go team! Yeah. Yay! Yay! Well done. Well done. <laughs> And again, a rousing, real clap and congratulations for our paramedicine graduates. Yay! Congratulations! And then a rousing, real clap and congratulations for our surgical technology graduates. And now you can go ahead and remute, remute, remute. And so this is really what uh, the pinning ceremony is all about. This moment in time when that pin is conferred. It seems so little, but it has such meaning. We hope graduates that you will wear this pin on your lab jacket or on your work uniform, whatever that happens to be, and that you will wear it with pride as a symbol of the work that you've completed at Mass State Community College. And this now brings me to the closing of this ceremony. Uh, a word to our graduates, and that is wherever you go in this world, graduates, you are going to now represent Mass Bay Community College, not only the college, you are now going to represent each and every professor who spent time teaching you, training you, working with you in labs, in clinical environments, those, um, all of those different interactions that you have had with them. You now represent us, you represent them. You will represent us in Massachusetts, in the United States, and some of you will go on to represent us internationally. And so what I'd like for you to know is that your work ethic will say something about where you graduated from and the professors who, who you um, were taught your educational training under. This will represent your skill level and your skill level is going to say something about your college, our program and your professors. And then the way that you work as a team will say something about this college, your professors and the education that you have received at Mass Bay. The way that you communicate in your profession is also going to say something about who we are. It's going to say something about who you are, something about who your educators are as well. And so I say to you, represent us well, because you now will become our billboard. If we hear about you on the news, make sure it's for something good. And so congratulations again, congratulations on this great pandemic accomplishment, because this really was more than anybody else has had to go through. Uh, just to make it through a health careers program. And we hope to see you again, maybe in a few years, as an educator uh, coming back to give back in some way, certainly as an alumni of the college. Please unmute and congratulate each other. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.
Congratulations. And before you exit out, if you did not have an opportunity to see the beautiful slide presentation that we presented at the beginning, we'll show it again as you exit out. Congratulations, graduates. Oh, yeah. Yay! And bye-bye. And... <laughs> Here's your story, let's begin. The water's fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before you. Could be larger than life, bigger than the world. Living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. You could fly higher than the sky, shoot farther than the stars. You could have all you ever wanted. Shoot the moon and reach for Mars. You know you could. Yeah, the times are changing everywhere. Thank you, Henry Lopez, for your IT support this evening. Health professionals save lives. Thank you, each and every one, for being here this evening. Good night.